Whether you're looking to upgrade your in-game knowledge or add some fun themed Minecraft items to your collection to put on display, these are the top 10 things every Minecraft player needs to have. All fun accessories and items that are super cool. Number 10, Builders and Biomes Board Game. If you love strategy games or board games, this one might be a good pick. It plays with two to four people and it brings Minecraft into board game format. You basically collect different resources and build structures and try to be the last one standing on the board, which requires strategy. The board of this game looks awesome and the pieces have some cool designs. I thought it was important to feature some board games on this list because sometimes it's great to turn off the PC and play some real games with friends, something that's a great part of Christmas. Number nine, Glowstone Night. Light. If you're basically looking for a light in your life, this could be the option. This is actually really awesome because it's basically a real glowstone nightlight. This is an official licensed product too, which basically simulates how glowstone works in Minecraft, but you can turn it on with a cord. You can place this thing anywhere in your room as a decorative piece or to use it whilst you're reading late night, or even when playing Minecraft late night too. This light creates a soft and warm glow to the light without illuminating the room too much, which is something you don't really want to have when you're going to go to sleep. Sleep. Number 8, Paint the Pig. If you have some time to spare or if it's a rainy day and you want a craft project, this paintable Minecraft pig is actually a cool little figurine to get as a day project if you're feeling creative. There are two different unpainted figurines in this pack, which are the creeper and the pig, along with some paints and brushes. Since it's a do-it-yourself project, you could theoretically just paint the pig green and the creeper pink, although that'd be evil. Also remember, the creeper is originally a pig gone wrong. Minecraft creator Notch accidentally created it by plugging in the wrong dimensions into the model and so that's why these guys are actually paired together number seven minecraft guide collection this set of books is the ultimate guide for minecraft fans who want to have a compendium of everything about exploring creating and also using redstone in the game there's just something about opening and reading a real book which is saying something since i usually read ebooks a lot nowadays because i have a kindle this set of books has a whole bunch of step-by-step -step instructions inside which are accompanied by full colour illustrations which guide you from learning the game so you could build some really awesome stuff narrated with some tips from Mojang themselves with some insider knowledge. This book will turn you into a master of the game. It's pretty crazy how many small pieces of knowledge there are out there for the game. Something I actually learnt when playing in multiplayer one time when I realised I actually really didn't know much about the game in retrospect. Number 6 Survival Notebook as a YouTuber, I take tons of notes, which is something I had to do a lot in school too. I used to use a notebook to take notes on video ideas and write things down so I don't forget them. But nowadays, I tend to just use PC software. But there's something about a notebook that feels really nice to write on, especially for journaling. This spiral notebook is in a Minecraft style, so you'll find some pretty nice looking Minecraft graphics and art inside as well, which is along with a crafting guide and character guide in there too. This is just generally a good quality hardcover notebook that's pretty nice for everyone everyday use and it's good for students or people wanting to keep track of their work or ideas. Number 5 Toy Diamond Pickaxe This neat little pickaxe toy is kind of cool, I think I need to buy this thing. Now you've probably seen all the Minecraft YouTubers with these, it's a good meme, especially when Tommy in it went into public dressed in diamond armour with a toy sword or pickaxe, let's not relive that moment. This thing is made of pretty solid moulded plastic, it's just like the one in game except it can't actually break anything, fun times. This is actually a pretty cool gift or something random to have on your desk to mess around with when you're bored. And it's an absolutely iconic piece, which everyone should probably just buy. Number 4, Treasure X Minecraft. Remember those archaeology kits you got as a kid where you could chip away at a sand block to find some random trinket inside? Well, this is basically that, so nostalgia guaranteed. This is pretty much a toy that's a treasure chest filled with some different surprises like Minecraft characters and their accessories, and even some real gold dip treasure to raise the stakes a bit. There are 10 different layers to chip away at which let you form a full Minecraft surprise build at the end. This is a pretty cool toy, mainly for kids, or for adults if they just want a real throwback and have some fun when they have nothing to do or even with their kids number three minecraft uno i'm pulling the uno reverse card on you with this one everyone knows about the uno card game even if it's just from the uno reverse card memes well there's now a new version that basically combines the same classic gameplay with the theme of minecraft this one is great to play at family gatherings i could have used this at christmas when there's always a lack of new board games to play uno now has a bunch of minecraft characters and items in it like steve creepers and the ender dragon pretty random 
random, but also kind of cool. The artwork on the cards has the same pixelated style from the game, which is pretty sweet too. The gameplay isn't so hard to learn, although there's a fair bit of strategy involved in playing Uno, but it's beginner friendly, so it's a good game to play with your family or at game night with a bunch of friends at a party. Number two, Minecraft Dungeons. Not every Minecraft player has actually even tried Minecraft Dungeons, which should be a crime at this point because this game is absolutely awesome and it does play a lot differently to normal Minecraft, so it's understandable. This has the same pretty blocky graphics, but more of a cell shaded style just like you'd see in Borderlands, but with different characters that each have their own custom abilities that are unique. But the idea that you can collect different powerful weapons and gear as you progress is what makes this game feel particularly rewarding. This game has endless exploration opportunities and it's really fun to play co-op with friends. There's a lot of different maps to the game and you'll find a lot of Minecraft characters in there, specifically the enemies and bosses that are not even in the normal game, so you'll actually be unlocking a lot of brand new content which is fresh. Number one, Minecraft. First of all, if you're a Minecraft fan, why do you not yet actually own the game? If you love watching my mod videos or Minecraft videos on YouTube, or even any other YouTuber, then it's probably about time you try it out for yourself. Minecraft is super fun to build and create and explore in. I first played it back in 2010, and even though I don't really have so much time for games nowadays, I'm still playing it today because it has a level of creativity that no other game has. But Minecraft is more than just for building. It has a range of other great elements like survival, where you can gather resources resources and defend against monsters and monitor your hunger. But when playing Minecraft, you need to first figure out what version you're actually going to buy. You can play on PC, on the Bedrock Edition or the Java Edition, which allows you to have more mods. I have a comparison video which I'll link down below to show you the differences between the two. But if you don't have a PC, then don't worry because you can also buy this game for consoles, like the Nintendo Switch and PS4, or for your mobile phone as a game app. I'll leave the link below to all of those versions if you want to get them. And that concludes these top 10 things that every Minecraft player needs to have. All of the links to all of these cool things are in the description below and also if you do click them it will help support the channel. Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below do you actually own any of these items or is there any other cool items which I should have featured in this list. Thanks for watching.